Hello artists, Mrs. Ingalls here. Today we are reading How to Spot an Artist by Danielle Kreisa. Oh, thank goodness you have this book. You'll need it if you want to spot a real artist. You see, no two artists are alike. In fact, they come in every size, shape, and color. Some are very quiet, but they can also be super loud. There are tidy artists and others, not so much. Artists live in big, busy cities, but you can also find them in teeny, tiny towns out in the middle of nowhere. And to make things even more complicated, they can be any age. This one, for example, is 92 and a half. You have to really pay attention, okay? Here's what to look for. First, artists can be found turning ordinary stuff like feathers, rocks, noodles, string, buttons, egg cartons, leaves, and even old socks into art. Note, glue is very clear and sticky sign that an artist is nearby. Magazines full of holes instead of pictures? Yep, an artist did that. Parents aren't always thrilled about this, but they need to realize if pictures don't get cut out, rearranged, and stuck onto other pictures, then the world would never experience wonders like the birthday cactus, which is like a birthday cactus. Keep an eye out for piles of scrap paper, like crumpled up grocery lists, takeout menus, envelopes, and math homework. Artists gather old paper like squirrels and gather nuts. For real, they draw everything on anything. Oh no, glitter! If you find glitter on the kitchen table, in the fridge, on the cheese, beside the couch, in the bathtub, on the dog, yes, an artist lives here. This book has been interrupted for a very important message. This is an art bully. When this guy shows up, artists can disappear right in front of your eyes. He'll try to replace their artsy ideas with junk like, you can't do this. Don't show anybody. What a mess. That just looks weird. That's not perfect. Just quit. If an artist believes any of that nonsense, the specialness that makes them special starts to fade. They put their pencils down and eventually all of their colorful, crazy, wonderful ideas are replaced with a quiet, lonely gray block. The end. Just kidding. That is not even close to the end of the story. This problem can get fixed in one simple step. Make stuff. Yes, it's true. Every time an artist keeps making, whether it's a mess or a masterpiece, another rude art bully gets erased. Warning complete. Thank you. Please keep reading. Wow, that guy sounds like a real troublemaker. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, spotting artists. You now know what to look for, but where should you start when they could very well be anywhere? Easy. To see an artist in action, just shout out a bunch of project ideas. Here, try these. Paint an ice cream volcano. Write your name with animal letters. Draw crazy flowers with googly eyes. Seriously, they'll be making stuff before you can even finish reading this book. If you see grown-ups doing projects like this too, do not be alarmed. They're really just like artsy kids, but with really long legs and jobs. Yes, artsy kids grow into painters, sculptors, ceramicists, photographers, art teachers. Ha, ah, love that one. Illustrators, university professors, graphic designers, architects, interior designers, museum curators, gallery owners, movie directors, set designers, costume designers, comic book artists, animators, video game designers. Oh dear, I was afraid this would happen. This list is too long and it just keeps going and going, but we are officially out of room. Too many art jobs. So there you have it. If you follow every tip and trick in this book, you'll spot an artist in no time. Good luck. Hmm, you're still here. Oh, were you hoping to discover an artist right this very second? Well, guess what? There's an artist looking at this page right now. Hint, it was you. The end.